My good friend Conejo, sir. Go ahead and do your thing, my friend. Go ahead and shine bright the way you always do. Okay, this is Conejo coming at you. Good morning to everybody. I'm telling I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story about a camarada named Michael uh, 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 Coronado, and I'm going to take you to 2015 because uh, 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 Detective Michael Herbert, what they did is they got this thing called, it's called a Perkins operation. People that are not, real, are not familiar with that, a Perkins operation is when they, put, they place somebody that's undercover or somebody that's directly working with the, the district, I mean the DEA or, 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 or internal affairs or whatever. They put him and investigate as, as a gang member. Well, in 2015, when, 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 when Michael Coronado, he killed, he killed a, 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 a Alan Peña. He's from Barrio Tokers, Tokers Compton. Well, in 2015, they couldn't get evidence enough to, to uh, 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 implicate this, this, this dude from the murders. Because it, they were kind of quiet, so what they did is they did what's called a Perkins operation on them. And the youngster, uh, my tío, he don't know. He doesn't really know because he's a youngster. He's only like, at the time, was like, like 24 years old. So what they did is they picked him up off the streets on, on, on Benya's murder, and they bring him to the L.A. County Jail, and they, they put him in, and they already had it set up. Detective Michael Herbert, he says, look, this is what we'll do. We'll put we'll put a, we'll put a, a, one of our undercovers in the same cell with him that we and we'll and, and we'll spread the word and tell him this dude's a Mexican mafia member and that we see if he opens up and tells him about the murders because you know when you when 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 a youngster that is just from a little neighborhood comes around a vato de Sacanan in the Emmy they wanna they wanna impress him so automatically. When the carnal asks him, hey, what have, you, what have you been doing out there? And this dude tells him everything that he's been doing, and he implicates himself in a murder. But he doesn't know that this dude is an undercover, an undercover for, 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 the, for, the, for the DEA of L.A. He doesn't know. So what he did is when they, when they put him together, he ended up exactly, he ended up implicating himself in all the murders. And the dude they put together was, was his, his last name is Pirales, Pirales, that was his name. He, and, and, and to my understanding, Pirales was Jimmy Pirales, and Pirales was, a, was, 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 he used to be an actual sureño, used to be an actual camarada that had, that had facial and had a, a, a authority because when he was in the L.A. County, the Carnales, their Mosca and Lalo and them, even Boxer, gave him authority to run certain sections. One time he had the gang module. And these guys didn't know later on because he was working with the with the feds and working with the DA in LA. They implicated him in a couple of Perkins investigations. They're called Perkins operations. A lot of people ain't familiar with that. Well anyways, just so he can win his beef, whatever he got caught with, he would do this for for them. To, for the DEA or, or the FBI or whatever, so he can get out of whatever he whatever whatever situation uh, charges he was facing, and and it always worked. So what they did with this dude, Michael, they told him, look, we're gonna put him in the cell, and as soon as they put him in a holding cell, they were going out to court, and that's that's when they said they they they, they brought him in like high power, uh, 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 Jimmy. They brought him in like he's high power that I am in Mexican mafia. They put him in the cage, and. He's hearing the conversation that they're having with him and the CEOs. So automatically, off the conversation, he can he can he can he can pick up that this dude just came down from high power. He's a Mexican mafia member and all this. So when he comes and sits next to him in the holding cell, he tells him what's going on. He introduces himself to 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 Michael, Michael, and he tells him hey, what's going on over there in Compton Brokers, man, and what's going on. Oh, I haven't been over there in a long time. I came down from the Bay and all that. He did a spill, you know, so I came down from the Bay. I'm out here all too cordoned, and this little youngster seen his opportunity, and he said, man, I'm going to try and press this guy. Not from the end, it's the first time I've been around a, a Mexican Mafia member. So he tells him, yeah, man, you know what? I had all Toker's area uh, a few days ago uh, on, 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 on September the 18th, 2015. I ended up killing this dude, uh, 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 Alan, Alan Peña, because this fool was all tweaked out. And he ended up he ended up trying to uh, hold your home my homeboy's prima rosemary uh, and, and he trying to he's all tweaked out so when she came brought us and told us hey this fool trying to rape you know what I mean 
we took him out for a ride. Me, David, uh, 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 Jimmy, we took him out for a ride, and we took him to the alley right there in Long Beach, one of the alleys in Long Beach, and we told him, come on, fool, let's get out. And this fool didn't even suspect nothing. And he comes out. He comes out the car. They go in the alley, and, and, and Michael pulls out a little twenty two, little twenty two uh, caliber handgun, boom, puts, puts a cap right behind his head, boom. You know what I mean? Shoots him behind the head and shoots him, and they leave him there. Well, when they come back to the car, Two of them come back. Three of them got off the car, and the hyena that's driving the car, she's like, where, where, where's, where's, where's Alan at? And he's like, don't worry, let's go. So they take off, and she already knows what's going on. So they tell her, don't say nothing. Okay, that happened. Like three days later, he comes across this other dude named Victor. Victor, some, Victor uh, C C C Cedrano. Victor Cedrano and, 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 and Victor... He's wanted because he 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 he, uh, he stole some money from the money. I guess I guess the the, the tokers clique. What they did is they used to put money together to buy cuetas and shit to protect the barrio right there. So this fool ends up dipping into that money, and 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 and, and Michael Michael was in charge of the barrio right there. So what he did is he ends up trying to take him out. This dude's right there in the body shop fixing a car with a steel, and when he's right there, he, he greets him. He tells, "What's up, Michael? What's up?" And he creases him when he bends down to fix the car. This fool shoots him with the same 22. Boom, boom. Two times. Bah, bah, bah. And he thought he killed him, but he didn't kill him. He he, 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 he did. They ended up taking that fool to the hospital. Well, these little these little incidents and another one that he did a robbery and a home invasion. He tells he tells he ends up telling Jimmy everything the whole thing the whole battle. Trying to impress him, thinking maybe if I impress this guy not so much, maybe he might put my name. So one day they can make me a carnal in the end, man. You know what I mean? So it, this dude told everything he, everything that he did out there to impress Pirales. He did everything he, he, I'm talking about every crime he did, everything he did out there in the street. He told Pirales because he thought that this dude was an actual carnal in the Mexican mafia. And, and to, this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To, to, to impress him, he told him everything. Well, this fool has tattoos and everything. You gotta remember, this fool was, this fool was recognized in the county jail in L.A. County as a vato with authority of having keys for the gang module, different sections. So I don't blame this youngster, but at the same time, he implicated himself in in in, in, in two murders, attempted murder, home invasion, and all that, where they washed him up. They ended up giving him hundred and some years to life, and 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 and. All because of the, it's, it's called a Perkins operation. Anybody that's hearing this story, look it up in anywhere you want. Look it up in your phone and in 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 in, in that, that little machine they got now. Uh, Google this, Google Google this, Google Perkins operation. It'll come out right there. And 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 that what they did is, and this dude they ruined his life, little youngster. Yeah, he was he was doing crime, which he shouldn't have been doing crime from the beginning. But the reason I'm telling this story is because a lot of you little youngsters out there do crimes like this and come in the county jail and the first dude they put next to you speaking he's all tacked down and you think he has authority and he looks like one of the big homies and you tell him your whole story and you don't even know he's wired. This dude was wired. This dude was wired when they put him in. This dude was working directly with the DA and the FBI. And it's not his first case that he did that. This dude did it in 2008 when they racketeered the Mexican mafia when they first racketeered him in 2008. And, and he was he was one of the main witnesses on that, and 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 and, and now he, he just because he's using dope all the time coming in, he would always talk his way out of it. And the reason I tell you youngsters is that hearing this and hearing my story is because I don't want to see one of you youngsters in like this youngster here that ruined his life. They gave him a hundred some years because he was trying to impress a carnal from the Mexican mafia thinking that he was, and he told his whole story what he was doing out there. And when the when the case came and they went to trial, of course he said, Hey, I, I never told him none of that. I never I never I never implicated myself. He denied everything but he couldn't he couldn't change his story for the simple reason that everything was recorded. And not even everything was recorded. Everything inside the, the, the module where he was at the holding cell had cameras where it's audio and video when he's telling when he's telling Man, what he tells Pirales, everything he did. And then Pirales tells him, hey, Carnalito, don't worry. 
if, if if you ever get time for this, don't tell nobody and don't tell nobody what you did. But if you ever get busted, I'm gonna remember you. When I'm up there in the bay and I hear your name, I'm gonna put words in for you. Raise my hands so you can make your carnal in the M in the Mexican mafia. And this little youngster's thinking. Now he's thinking. He he even felt that this is the highest the highest happiness glory he ever been in his life because. You gotta remember, a lot of these youngsters in, 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 in East Los or, or in LA that are in barrios, they never been out of a barrio. So when they see somebody uh, 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 praising them for something he did and, 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 and embracing them and loving them, they think that's real love. And it ain't. All it is is they're just using them. Man, it gets me mad because I'm upset how these youngsters can do that. And, and thinking that they're doing something right and get manipulated into giving their whole life up for dumb stuff, man. It really it really, it, it really gets to me for the simple reason that, man, just because you do something, I'm telling you. I mean, I don't want you to do nothing. Believe me, I'm against you doing anything of crime in the street. I'm trying to help you change your life for the better, but if you ever do, and just because they put you next to somebody, don't tell them your story because... If you tell him your story was going to happen, you don't know if that guy's wired. You don't know if he, he, you don't even know what he's facing in court where he can just say, you know what? I know this guy that just killed this dude. He just told me his whole story. And and, and, and there you go. You're going to be in, in prison for life in here with me. And, 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 and have to wait in line to go to store, have to wait in line to go to child, have to wait in line for everything. And I'm telling you right now, be smart. Don't give up your life that easy. And, and, and the reason I'm telling this story is because I want to help you guys to not get in a position like this in life. But before I go any forward, remember, I do this to help you out, but I need your guys' help too. I want you to help me so when I go to board, I'll have enough money to give me a good attorney or I can pay an attorney. Remember, my app, Free Cornejo, F-R-E-E-C-O-N-E-J-O, with the money sign in the front, the, the, the dollar sign in the front, Free Cornejo, F-R-E-E-C-O-N-E-J-O. Whatever you can donate to my app, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you can to help me out, okay? And and remember another thing. Remember another thing. They changed the tablets now. So if you want to get a hold of me and talk to me and email me my tablet and tell me about my shows, how my show's doing, how if you like it or what, give me criticism, even if you have to give me some kind of criticism, if you want to write me, remember, you got to get the app. It's called www.gettingout.com. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Remember, it's www.gettingout.com. It's an app. you got to get that app in your phone. And then my you, you, to, get, to, to email me, you got to put Cornejo, Frank, first Frank, and then Cornejo, C-O-R-N-E-J-O. And then my number is T-300. Three zero zero thirty two, T dash three zero zero thirty two. If you want to get a hold of me and write me in my email, because they changed the tablets. The tablets ain't the old. And the and the. You have sixty seconds remaining. A lot of people that are my that that that, that are my fans and talk to me that we used to write me on the old tablet. They can't write me on a new tablet because they don't know that they got to get the amp. So now that you're hearing me, we're back on the air. Me and Tony, remember, get that amp so you can communicate with me. And I love you. And 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 and. and, and Stay positive, man. Change your ways and, and, and stand, stay, stay positive. Tony.